Man, I love fauna. So in this video, we're gonna draw a crap ton of fauna. Let's go. So we start off with the sketch of the head, and I reuse this head quite a bit in this artwork. Um, you don't necessarily have to reuse a head. You could always draw from scratch, but I always say work smarter, not harder. Well, I think me and a lot of people say that. But yeah, I basically started out with just kind of one pose and wanted to draw a bunch more. This is the first time I've drawn and not ha added like a, a base or a uh, or construction. So it's a little bit off in places, but it's passable. So there's the first sketch down. Now we're gonna copy the face over and we're gonna change it up and make it unique. Now I did draw construction for this one just because it's a more difficult pose. So I wanted to make sure I got it right. But I think I did a pretty good job. A nice little stretching pose. Obviously very stylized and exaggerated. If any girl tried to do it like that, I think it would uh, hurt quite a bit. As some people on Twitter say, where are her organs? So now I'm drawing the centerpiece, which is just a straight on picture of uh, the character. I originally was gonna go with this uh, interesting hand, but I ended up hating it so much that I just stopped doing it. I tried a bunch of different hands. I ended up just deciding to go against it. Um, I should have drawn the hands, but I was being very lazy. Ooh, that's a jump in time. Yeah, um, I, I many times during this recording, I forgot to hit record. So, uh, sorry about that. So yeah, we have a bunch of bases here now, and now it's time to start adding some details. Again, another jump in time, I'm sorry. But now we have the base color, so I'm just trying to fix it up and make it look more attractive. And by attractive, I mean cleavage. I'm, I'm just drawing cleavage. So now we're, we're on to the line art, and line art, like I said many times in my videos is very relaxing for me so I definitely enjoyed myself with this. I started off really detailed on the hair but then progressively got more and more lazy with the hair because of how much I had to do and that's not really a good thing but it's unfortunately what I did so my, my bad. <laughs> I like to draw her hair very wild and crazy just because it looks so much more fun. So yeah, I've been on a real kick of drawing Fauna lately. It's just, it, she does really well. I really enjoy drawing her. Uh, her hair can be a bit tricky, um, but I've been getting better at drawing it lately, so I've been really thankful that I've figured it out finally after so many months of struggling and not quite getting it right. I feel like I could have done better on the hand. The hand just feels off to me, but it is what it is. I messed up quite a few times here on the eye. I didn't quite know the shape I wanted to go for, so I kept trying over and over and over again. Until, in the end, I just kind of settled. I, I didn't really actually enjoy the eye that I made, but it's it's good enough, man. Um, um, I'll have to really figure out the eye shape I want next time. Now it's time for the stretching pose. And this is an angle of the head I don't usually do, so I definitely had a lot of fun figuring this one out. Um, having the chin up is something that's kind of difficult to draw in anime because it needs to be implied through shading and not necessarily through line art. I wish I drew more tummy in the other pictures of Fauna, but oh well, I guess uh, one is good enough this time. The braid has also been getting easier and easier for me to draw the more I do it. 
I'm starting to become a lot more confident with braids, even though I'm not quite the best at it yet. I feel like I'm finally starting to figure out how to do it. And now the main centerpiece. This is one where I felt I got the face shape wrong many times. But I did pretty good drawing the breasts, which is always nice. The eyes were so much easier on the front facing one because I can just copy and paste and flip it. It doesn't always work, but it did this time, so yay, cheating! More wild and crazy hair, because man, that's fun to draw. The horn, mm, I could have done a lot better on the horns in this artwork as well, but like I said, the more I went, the more lazy I got, so mine was my bad. I went for a different expression here, and I kind of like how it turned out. It's, it's definitely different and interesting, even though it's kind of like only the mouth is the interesting part on this particular picture of Fauna. And now the last one, and the whole collage is complete. I felt like I did really bad on the hair on this one, and it's kind of like, ah, man. Now we're going to start adding the base colors. I just used the fill tool. I prefer to use the fill tool, it's just kind of what I'm used to. Trying to get it all taken care of. Uh, I don't go fully saturated on the, um, on the hair, I usually leave it a little bit gray and desaturated, just because it makes it look more like natural. The inside of the hair is blue because it kind of adds a backlight that I really enjoy. Now we're starting to render the skin. You gotta treat breasts like they're spherical, so you want more soft shading on breasts than hard shading. Um, I usually use the blend tool to, or blur tool to make the hard line softer and then go in with an airbrush later to soften it up even more. All right, we are getting close now. Now we're shading the clothes and the clothes were something that I have an easier time drawing like swimsuits than I do regular clothes just because they're very straightforward so that happened pretty quick and here comes the hair now we're gonna see a huge jump in time to the finished artwork because I forgot to yet again turn on my recording so unfortunately uh, it's gonna go to straight to finish here really quickly yep there it is Alright, well, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!